Let's read Sarah's Passover, written by Lisa Ballard, illustrated by Constanza Besaluzzo. Chapter one, it's time for Passover. Hi, I'm Sarah. A big holiday is coming up. It's called Passover. I have some important jobs to do during this holiday. Today, I'm helping mom get the house ready. While I help, mom reminds me why we celebrate Passover. Long ago, the Jewish people were called the Israelites. They were slaves in Egypt for many years. Every Passover, we remember that our people used to be slaves. We celebrate our freedom. The Passover story tells how the Israelite slaves were set free. God sent a man named Moses to see the Egyptian king. Moses asked the king to free the Israelites, but the king said no. So God sent many troubles to Egypt. Finally, the king let the Israelites leave. Chapter two, helping to get ready. We get the whole house clean. Then I clean out the regular bread and cookies. Those are some of the foods we can't eat during Passover. I help get all of them out of the house. I brush a feather across the shelves. That way I don't miss even one crumb. I'm good at finding the special Passover foods at the store. I put a lot of matzah in the cart Matzah is like a big cracker. Regular bread needs time to rise before it can be baked, but the Israelites had to leave Egypt in a hurry. They didn't have time for their bread to rise. They had to make hard flat bread instead. It's called matzah. Now Jewish people eat matzah every year during Passover. Crunch, we eat it instead of regular bread. Chapter three, the Seder. It's almost time for the Seder. The Seder is the special dinner that starts Passover. Mom and I get the Seder plate ready. I add the egg to the plate. Then the doorbell rings. What special foods do families put on their Seder plate? An egg, a bone, a vegetable, often parsley, haroset, which is a mix of chopped apples and nuts, a bitter herb, a bitter vegetable. Haroset reminds us of the material that the Israelite slaves used to make bricks. The bitter foods help people remember how hard it is to be a slave. All the, food help, all the foods help tell the Passover story. Lots of relatives come for the Seder, but we don't eat right away. First, we follow along in the Haggadah. This book tells the story of how the Israelites became free. We say blessings and give thanks to God. I bounce in my chair. I can't wait for my special part. Passover is a spring holiday. It lasts for a week. Grandfather breaks the middle matzah. Then he puts a piece in a napkin. He hides it. Later on, we'll search for it. The hidden matzah is called the afakamen. I bet I'll be the one to find it. Sometimes being the youngest is hard, but for the Seder, being the youngest makes me special. I get to ask the four questions. Each year at the Seder, the youngest child asks the four questions. Sometimes the questions are sung. They ask why certain things are done at the Seder. The adults at the table answer the questions by telling the story of Passover. I start, why is this night different from all other nights? Grandfather answers my questions with stories about our people. Finally, we eat. Then all the kids get to look for the hidden matzah. Grandfather is tricky, but I find the matzah before any of the big kids can. I guess I'm tricky too. Grandfather gives me candy as a prize. Then we all eat the matzah. The afakamen is the last thing eaten at the Seder. Chapter four, remember and celebrate. Passover will be over in a few days. Then we will eat regular bread again. 
People have celebrated Passover for more than 3,000 years. The holiday is also called the Pesach. It's celebrated in countries all around the world. But today I eat matzah. It reminds me that our people were once slaves. It reminds me to be thankful for our freedom.